Good morning, everyone. I want to thank God for giving me yet another special opportunity to share the thought of the day. I'm going to be reading from the book of First Peter, chapter 2, from verse 4 to 9. As we come to him, the living stone, rejected by human but chosen by God, and precious to him. You also, like living stones, are being built in a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in the scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious, but is to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called out of darkness in this wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. I just want to thank God that God loves us as we are. I was just looking at the scripture which I have read this morning that the stone which was rejected by builders became the cornerstone. You will recall that Jesus himself was rejected in Nazareth by his own, but himself became the cornerstone. I usually think even when you are rejected by people, just to know that there is somebody up there who loves you, God loves you unconditionally. Sometimes people may reject you, even families rejecting you, even being rejected at work or being rejected by your spouse or partner, but God doesn't reject you. He will make you whatever he wants you to be in life. So as we go on, just know that you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, and you are there to declare the praises of God. God loves you no matter what people might say about you, no matter what people might look down upon you, but just know that there is a God in heaven who loves you. You can be the chief cornerstone like Christ did in the lives of your family, even if you were rejected. Christ became the chief cornerstone, was rejected, by many and many people rejected him but all those who believed in him and in his name were given power to become children of god may the good lord bless us this morning in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen